Hello everyone and welcome to my channel for a new series. Um, it's gonna be a legacy challenge. Uh, it's gonna be the Richard's legacy challenge anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so you are currently looking at our founder and I will get to him in just a moment. Um, I kind of wanted this legacy challenge to be a little bit different. Um, I'm still gonna be following the rules. It's just going to be different in a way. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, if you hear yelling, my not my son, my son's sleeping. Um, if you hear yelling, it's my brother. He's on his Xbox. So yeah, sorry if you can hear that. Uh, he's yelling pretty loud and I'm on the other end of the house. So if you can hear that and my mic picks it up, that's pretty badass. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I going to get? What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Hi, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jenna, aka Jenna the Summer. And welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, I do Let's Plays here on YouTube. Also create a Sims occasionally. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> anyway, this is Shane Richards. And he's just your usual, like, small town boy. And I'm sorry if you hear my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just your small town boy. Grew up in... Oasis Springs, which is where we are now. Like, look at all this. Look at all of this. <laughs> Grew up in Oasis Springs. And he's always had a trouble of fitting in. And when I say fitting in, I mean literally he's had trouble fitting in. Completely. <laughs> he's always had troubles with women and troubles with, it, tr you know, just fitting in. But lately, he is, um, actually, let me just go into his traits and stuff, and then I'll explain his backstory a little bit more. His name is Shane, anyway. Uh, he wants to be a master chef. That's his aspiration. Um, his somology, oh god, these tips are gonna drive me nuts. Uh, he's a, mmm, stop. He's a bro, he's active, he's a foodie, and he has the essence of flavor. And yeah, that's basically it. He's Shane Richards. <laughs> anyway, um, so the legacy challenge rules. I do have them pulled up on my other monitor. So if I um, if my mouse goes missing, it's because I'm going on to my other monitor. Um, the gender law for this. I'm not gonna get way into the rules because if you guys, I'll leave the okay. Let's just say I'll leave the rules in the description, or not the rules, the link to the rules in the description, and you guys can go read them. It's a long, 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 <laughs> long list of rules. The Legacy Challenge was uh, created by Pinstar and his wife, uh, I can't remember her username, it's Imagine, Imaginating Mystic, I believe, I could be totally wrong, but that's just by memory. I follow her on Twitter, so <laughs> I'm assuming that's her username. Not, I apologize. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to go over the succession laws. And the one that I am going to do is, um, hang on, I got to read them over. Do, 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 do. It's obviously going to be equality. So it's can, it can either be a female or a male. Um, which equality, the success, the gender law for that is the founder may either be, well, may, yeah, maybe either gender, which could be a boy or a girl for the heir. So when he passes, his son or daughter can be heir. <laughs> um, do, 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 bloodline law. I am going to be doing the foster bloodline law. Um, which is children who are adopted are eligible to be named heir. Naturally born children are not able eligible to be named heir unless there are no adopted children, at which point they become eligible for that generation. And the reason why I wanted to do foster care is because and in no way do I want any hate for this about what I'm going to say. Shane is gay and... I want, I've never done a, like, a, it, it is just a regular gameplay with, like, a gay couple. I've done one before, but it was complicated, and I really want to try it again, but in a legacy challenge form. Now, that does not mean that 
there's going to be all gay couples or lesbian couples. It is going to be, he could be gay in this generation, and in the next generation, his son or daughter could marry somebody that's of the opposite sex. I'm not saying that's going to be a strict gay legacy. I mean, few generations down the line, there might be another gay romance, but just for the first generation, Shane is going to be the only one that is gay. And he's going to find himself a man, which leads me to um, to the story. Uh, the reason why he never fit in was because he was gay, and it was obvious that he was gay. I think he's really attractive looking, actually, but <laughs> yeah, he's starting off new, even though he's still in Oasis Springs. He really wants to... Uh, get his life started, maybe find the man of his dreams. And the air law, um, I wanted to do, um, I think I wanted to do, yeah. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to do the random one, which is the title of air is randomly selected from the pool of all eligible children. Every time the eligible pool changes, size the air must be rolled and using the new pool wait i don't know understand what that means Ooh. <laughs> actually you know what let's not do that let's do we'll do the living will which is the eligible child with the highest friendly relationship score with their previous gender or generations parents will be named heir so the living will is um Technically, whoever has the best relationship with the parents. So, yes. The rules have been updated since this, or since the rules that I'm reading right now. They have been updated. Um, I think the only two that were updated was, it was, um, oh god, I can't even think about it. Mm. If the sin that you are married to or if you move, you can, you don't have to just do one sim, uh, it doesn't, oh god, I can't even freaking explain it, I feel so stupid, <laughs> you don't have to move, um, you can move one, more than one sim in the house per generation, like, say, okay, you have your heir and their partner married, and say that their kid is gonna get married, you can have their, you can have their partner move in instead of just having one sim move in per generation, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that's one of the changes. And if they bring in any money, you have to use the money cheat to make sure that it goes back to the money or the, yeah, <laughs> to the funds that you had before they moved in. You cannot have their, you cannot have their, um, yeah, what's the word? <laughs> you cannot have their funds into your household funds. You have to take all that off, which I don't know how to work the money cheat, which I could probably figure that out really, really easily. So, um, I'm basically reading the rules as I go along. I know that there is a point system, but chances are I will not be doing the point system. Um, I will complete the aspirations and stuff. I will try to anyway. I will continue reading on the rules as we go along. I really just want to get into the game. But yes, I am excited. I've been wanting to do this challenge for a week now. I actually wanted to do something like this when I uh, got my hands on The Sims 4. But I really wanted rules to come out because I wanted to see how they were going to do it. And I was excited to find out that there was. And I was hesitant about doing this only because everybody's going to be jumping right on it. So, yeah, anyway, enough of that. On the rules, it says that you have to move on a 50 by 50 lot, which we are on right now. We are playing in Oasis Springs. And let me show you where it is. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so if you are familiar with Oasis Springs, the land grabs used to live here. So that means the land grabs have been evicted and their lawn was, or their yard, or their property was bulldozed. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what happened to the land grabs, unfortunately. But, yeah, I think the scenery is really, really gorgeous. And, yeah, I did purchase the night um, 
the night of the octagon table or whatever it was. So we have 1,800 simoleons. So we're going to go ahead and build our little, <laughs> our little, uh, it's not going to be really a shack. It's going to be basically a, uh, gee, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a little camp, I guess you can say. I'm just going to go in and buy the cheapest things. I'm going to go ahead and buy this bed. Um, we definitely need to get him to do, do, do a toilet and a shower. I've done a legacy challenge before, but I don't know if The Sims 4 is any different. Get the cheapest shower. And I really do not want any hate whatsoever because of him being gay. Because I will totally go off on you if you say one bad thing about gay people because I I don't I don't take that stuff lightly at all and I really hope you guys can understand that I don't take it lightly at all um we need counters don't we in order for him to uh get the food right I, I don't even know actually I do want to build a wall can I build like a single little wall uh walls i just want it to like separate this bathroom and stuff because i know some of them have that privacy issue so if i could just that'd be nice okay all right um i believe we need a counter i'm not even sure if we need a counter or not so we'll see oh uh, i can get this cheap little counter it's not no big deal I mean, it's not fancy, but it'll work. It'll work. All right, let's see. Can he have quick meals? Uh, yeah, and he can cook garden salads. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so we have 270 simoleons to our name. He wants to buy an oven, which we will do whenever he starts his career. It is Sunday in the Legacy Challenge. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have him find a job. It's going to basically be, uh, I think I'm going to have him join the culinary career because obviously he wants to be a chef. So the culinary career would make sense. Oh crap, here I am wondering where the sound is. <laughs> and my headphones aren't even plugged in. Well, looky there. Anyway, um, culinary. Alrighty then, he is fantastic. Okay, since he's not going to go to work for a couple days, why don't we just go around and meet some locals, even though he should know some since he's from here. But we're going to go and, let's see, where can we go? Let's go to the bar. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Give me one second. Okay, I have to close the window that I had open. Okay, um, do, 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 do. okay, so I was going to do a, um, a building video on my first impressions of the building, but, you know, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and, um, excuse me, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just do it as I go through this challenge because I'm obviously going to be building on that lot because once you are in that lot, you cannot, you cannot, uh, leave. So you are stuck on that lot forever and you can either bring houses from the gallery or you can bring or build houses. So I'm going to try and build, even though I suck at building, um, I might make a couple speed builds here and there, but we'll see. I'm going to have him come in and meet this Jay Huntington the third, just to meet some people. Uh, Look at him walking. I gave him the perky walk. <laughs> but yeah, he is a bro. Oh, and oh, yeah. Oh God, he's flirty. Well, hello. Ooh, Can we talk to you? Do a friendly introduction to you? Say, hey, how's it going? Talk about grilled cheese over here. Okay, let's go ahead and ask about his day. Brighten his day. Tell a funny story. Heartfelt compliments. Get to know. Discuss interests. Um, uh, let's see. Gossip. 
Yeah, okay. So, I might not find him a partner in the first part. Um, I'm not really planning to. But I'm hoping by at least the third or fifth part. Yeah, between part three and part five, hopefully he'll find somebody. I'm not in no rush, really. I mean... The Sims 4 is going to be around for a while. It's not like I'm trying to rush it like I would have in The Sims 3. So, yeah. I'm not in no hurry whatsoever. Okay. I did add a lighting mod in my game. Another one. But I don't know if it works. I don't know. For some reason, when I film it, it gets, it's, it's darker than it is, I guess. In my, in my eyes, it is. Let's joke about ducks. And discuss favorite recipes and have a deep conversation. We're gonna go ahead and joke about politics. Alrighty, um, goodness, excuse me. Gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and ask if he is single. We're not gonna hit on him right away, we're just gonna keep our options open. Ooh, who's that? He looks kind of cute. It could be a she. I don't even know. I can't even get a good look at him. Uh, let me look at him. Ooh, he's different. He's looking quite fabulous. Who is this? Maxwell Cates. Get over here and do a friendly introduction. Come get that boy. He actually does not like us now. Fantastic. Ugh. Okay. Can you go can you go, go give him a friendly introduction? Oh, is he coming over? Oh, he's coming over. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> All right. He looks fabulous. With a makeover, he'll look a little bit better, but Yeah. So here he is coming to chat with us. I thought uh, he would have gotten up to do it, but apparently not. Let's go ahead and brighten up his day. Heartfelt compliments. We've got a couple men coming up in here. Let's go ahead and gossip. He's actually getting along better with this guy, so go ahead and tell a joke about vampires and have a deep conversation with him. Discuss interests. Um, tell an engaging story. Uh, you're gonna come sit down? Cool boy. Cool bro. Tell a funny story. I think I already did that. He's a goofball. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and to do discuss fine cuisine i might be saying these like three or four times but yeah <laughs> yeah he's getting along really well with this man so we'll see um let's go ahead and ask if he is single just i'm just curious maxwell case huh hmm. but yeah um Gonna go ahead and do another impression. Another in the playful mood. Ask him if he's single. Are you leaving? Don't leave, Maxwell. Go ahead and get to know him. Trickle the hand buzzer. Star Professor's rumor. No, let's not do that. Let's flash our crazy eyes. <clears throat> I hope he doesn't hate us. No, he seems to like it. Okay, we've uh, gotten the uh, mischief skill. So we're going to go ahead and have him discuss interests again. And tell a joke about vampires. Oops, tell a joke about vampires. <laughs> tell a funny story. Um... Gossip, and then we'll, let's see, so who's that, we'll check him out in a minute, um, express admiration, who's this, Travis Scott, we're meeting a lot of good looking guys, lots of good looking guys, I really wish that they didn't really have this group conversation thing, I, I don't know, I wish it wasn't so, I don't know, I wish it wasn't, like, constant. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Knock, knock, joke. We're gonna go ahead and flash crazy eyes. They seem to be hitting it off really well. 
But like I said, we're not going to hook him up on the first part. We're just going to get him to meet people and all of those things. He's doing pretty well mood-wise. Um, but anyway, like I was saying in the beginning, um, obviously since he's going to be a gay sim, he is going to obviously adopt children in order to continue on the legacy, which is why I did the adoption slash it can either be the adoption or the, um, God, what's it called? <laughs> I can't even think about it. Uh, the adoption or the actual blood air thing um because i'm hoping that along with the generations they'll have their own kids along with adoption kids or adopted kids so it'll work out that way that's what i want to do anyway he wants to make five large orders of grilled cheese and cook five excellent meals meals not meals Ugh, jenna what are you talking about oh my gosh Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a picture together, and, uh, gossip, he's feeling very playful, he needs to calm, calm down, very, very cute, and for his job, what's he need to do, if you hear that, I'm sorry, uh, clean dishes three times, and go to work inspired, okay, give me one second, guys, I don't know what that noise is, and it's driving me nuts a little bit. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to end this part here in a minute. Okay. Um, let's see how... Okay, so he is married. He's got a spouse named Lucy, and I don't think Jay has anyone, which is fine. Um, let's go ahead and... Give a friendly introduction to Travis. <laughs> and then I think after we meet those Sims, we're not going to get too friendly with him. We're going to go ahead and... Give me one second, guys. Alright, guys. I'm sorry about that. My son looked like he was going to fall off the bed in his sleep. And that would have not been good. Okay. Um, I love Oasis Springs. It's so beautiful. Anyway... I was going to go ahead and look for some collectibles and maybe start a garden. Um, I really wanted to um, find some collectibles at least. But does not look like there's any in this area, which is okay, I suppose. Oh, there's some right here. Let's go ahead and dig this up. He's feeling very energized. And I'm going to have to make him go work out. Go ahead and dig this up. But, yes, yes, he wants to work out. <laughs> or do push-ups. Push-ups, anyway. Oh, gosh, I gotta get comfortable again. Ugh. I'm gonna try and make these episodes at least... Um, at least 25 to 30 minutes long. It might go longer than that. You guys are gonna have to forgive me. I've been going a little over my limit lately. <laughs> with videos especially the last part of everlasting if you have followed me there i've uh kind of went a little overboard with everlasting's uh yeah oh god i can't even talk or think at the moment <laughs> um everlasting's finale and that ending was crazy if you guys watched that wasn't that ending crazy Okay, so he did find a time capsule. So go ahead and open it up, which it's in my sim, of course. So we're gonna try and make collections of that. I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. Can you open the other one? Okay, so he got a Chaz McFreely. Um, and a Poppy. Okay, we're gonna have him go home, I guess. Sweet, how's his mood? See, he's doing pretty good for it being 3.05. Um, let's go to map view and let's see. Let's go to the park. We'll just go to the park. I'll try and meet more sims. Meet more sims and maybe find some more collectibles. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try to finish this let's play. Um, I, I'm really gonna try. It really just depends. A lot of people are having problems with the save feature and I haven't ran into that yet, knock on wood. Um, I'm, <laughs> you guys gotta really watch out for that because it will mess up your game. Okay, um, we are here. Let's go ahead and pause and take a look around. But, yeah, let's see who's here. Um, I love the way the way Oasis Springs looks. Okay, we got Liberty Lee over here. I believe that's her name, right? Yep, okay. Then we got Chloe Valencia. And we got Haley Good Godfrey. Not Goodfrey. Oh, she's actually kind of pretty. Hmm. Okay, never mind. She's not that pretty. Okay, do we have any children over here? Um, yes, we do. We have someone on the monkey bars. We have... Can I look at your name? Mar Mariel. Oh, that's really pretty. Mariel Man. And then we have Paris Cates. Oh, that's, uh, oh God, who's, who's, his? oh God, the guy we just met, Maxwell's wife and Axel Cates. Oh, they have a child together. I'm going to feel really, really, really bad if I break them up. <laughs> I guess Maxwell's out of the question. Yeah, we're not going to be a homewrecker. Is this Jay? Jay, what are you doing here, boo? Following us. Oh, no, that's not Jay. Whoops. We got, um, he looks just like him, though. Abdullah Whitmore. Let's go ahead and give him a friendly introduction. Who's this? Case and Ty. Let's go ahead and give him a friendly introduction. We're going to meet some men. Men, 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 menly men. Do, 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 do. I've never actually sat down and watched that show. I mean, a couple episodes, but not, like, steadily watching that show. If you know what show I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty. Can barbecue right here and everything. Gorgeous. Okay. <sighs> ah. I'm just yawning in y'all's faces or y'all's ears. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. We're going to go ahead and tell you a funny story. Um, give a pep talk to you. <laughs> do an impression. Discuss interest. He looks a little grumpy. Or tense. Ooh, excuse me, we're going to do a knock-knock joke. Ooh, excuse me, goodness gracious. Oh, can't even talk today. Discuss interest. I think I just did that, didn't I? Yeah, probably did. <laughs> Things about interest. Oh god, my game froze for a minute. There we go. So, yes, about 25 to 30 minutes long. I'm going to try to make these parts. I know I'm pushing about 30 minutes, but I don't really want to wrap it up quite yet. Let me get to know this. We're going to call him Abe, because I cannot pronounce that name. Abdullah. Abdullah. Whitmore. We're just gonna call him Abe. Hello, Abe. Gossip. And ask about his day again. I'd get so frustrated if someone was constantly asking about how my day was. I'd be like, can you shut the fuck up, please? Excuse my language. Let's go ahead and compliment his outfit and yeah, fire up, I guess. Tell an engaging story. Tell a funny story. He wants to chat with Travis. Hmm. Go ahead and get to know him. Then we're gonna go ahead and ask if he's single. All right, he's feeling a little playful. Okay, so he's an art lover. Oh, and he is single. Cool, cool. Okay, so we do have like a little bit of options that are open. We have Abe, and we have Jay, and Travis, and we're not going to hit on at Maxwell. He's a goofball, evil, and hot-headed. I like him a lot, but he has a family, and I really don't want to be the home wrecker. We're going to go ahead and look for some froggy frogs, and let's see who's all here. 
got another male here. We got Nathaniel Man, which I just saw his kid, so I'm not going to hook up on him or hook up with him. And Grady Ty. Oh, God. Um, oh, look, it's Maxwell. Yeah, I'm going to try not to be a homewrecker and make somebody break up with somebody because that's not cute. Okay. Um, I think that's all the collectibles we are going to find today. Yeah, looks like it. Lucky in the sense for things respawn every Sunday. So it's not like we're going to be going completely without anything. He found a striped heart frog. Is that rare? It sounds like it's rare. Oh, it's uncommon. I was close. I was close. Okay. Let me go ahead and look for some things. There's a fishing hole right there. I might get him into fishing. I might not. It really just depends. When does he go to work? In 22 hours. So he didn't go to work today. Or was he supposed to go on today? Did I miss that? Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> if I missed, uh, I fail at life. Um, let's go ahead and use this bathroom. I kind of like how this is. It's like one of them gang bathrooms but it's like a, like actually realistic and it's just a rabbit hole and I like it okay who do we have over here we got little muscle heads over here or they look like muscle heads anyway who's this um Lucy Cates that must be his daughter or maybe that's his wife oh yeah that's his wife okay that makes a little bit more sense this is Brady Dishman, and who is this? He's somewhat good looking. Amos. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to have him go ahead and finish what he is doing. Then we're going to go home and eat and send him off to Betty Bye. And we will end the part there. He's gotten two more of these. I wanted to go ahead and open these up. Oh gosh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Okay. We're just gonna follow him. Okay. Found some fossils and stuff. Go ahead and send those off here in just a moment whenever we get home. Let's see, what did we find exactly? Uh, two fossil rocks and a plethenium. Plethenium. Plethenium? Plethenium? <laughs> Okay, and we have another Chasmic Freely, so I'm going to go ahead and sell one. I'm going to go ahead and open up another one. Dirty eats his hamburger. Apparently he's just going to grab random hamburgers. Because that's cute. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and have him... Go ahead and head home. He found another one of these poppy ones. So I'm going to go ahead and have him sell one of these because we're not going to have two of them. It gives us 35 simoleons. So, oh my gosh, these tips are going to drive me nuts. Okay, so we're going to go home because he is getting a little sleepy sleepy. And I do want him to send these fossils off so we will get them in the morning. So, we're going to go ahead and follow him home. And then I will wrap up the part there. And I will see you guys in the next part and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to film the next one. Let's see what time is it. 11.30. I guess I could film part two. I need to get videos pre-recorded anyway. So, yeah. I had to go in and get a tooth pulled Monday. So, I don't even know how I'm going to feel after that. Probably not the best because I never feel good anymore. So, excuse me. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to what? Yeah. Mm -mm. And call the Geo Council. And we're gonna extract these fossils. Let's see what the Geo Council has to say. My brother is yelling so loud. It's driving me insane a little bit. Okay, so. Plethium. Uh, okay. 
Oops, no. Go ahead and extract the fossil. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell them out of pocket because we know they're worth money. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell that one. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Let's go ahead and put an inventory and put an inventory because apparently I can't keep anything in the damn inventory. Let's go ahead and sell that for a hundred. Oh no, it's fifty. My bad. This one's a hundred, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part here. He's just gonna go to sleep, and then he's gonna go to work tomorrow morning. Um. Or not tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon. And in the next part, we will, well, go meet more people and dig up some things. And yeah, but I will see you guys in my very next part. Part one and two are pre recorded back to back due to pre recording reasons. And yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love you all to pieces. Bye!